Hello and welcome to today's video about uh, Lightroom CC. Not to be confused with Lightroom Classic. I'll get into that. There's there's two Lightrooms. And so this video is going to be in four parts. Part one will be an introduction, which will discuss the two different Lightrooms. Uh, part two will be how to import photos into Lightroom CC, as well as how to do some basic edits. I'll explain why I put those in air quotes in a minute. And uh, part three will be how to export photos from Lightroom CC. And then part number four will be how to upload those photos to Flickr. So uh, one of the first things um, we're gonna talk about is the fact that there's two Lightrooms. And I know it's confusing. I apologize. How do you know which one to use? Um, uh, it, which one to use is depends on uh, possibly when you started using Lightroom. So that's one factor. Uh, the short version, here's, well, let's talk about the differences first. So let's talk about the differences. So there are two, two versions of Lightroom. There's Lightroom Classic, which is LRC for its icon. And then there's Lightroom CC, which is just LR. Sometimes it's also called Lightroom Desktop. I know. So let's talk about the differences. Let's start with Lightroom Classic, LRC. So this is the original. Uh, it's been around the longest. Uh, it was uh, released in 2007. So it's about 13 years old as of the time of this recording in 2020. Um, I think they're on version uh, 10 or so. Um, it's October 2020, so there'll be a new version coming out at the end of the month. That's their tradition with their Adobe Max conference. There will also be a new version of LR Lightroom CC. So yeah, good times. Uh, okay, so this is uh, LRC is Lightroom Classic is, is focused on a single user, single computer, uh, and kind of a, a desktop or laptop focus. Um, it's designed to be used traditionally, traditionally. So, um, uh, I personally, uh, that's the one I tend to use. Well, it's not the one I tend to use. It's the one I use. Uh, I use it more because it's the one I've used the longest. Uh, I'm used to the workflow. Uh, additionally, there's a couple features that I really like as far as how it helps me organize my photos as I import them. And those features aren't available in uh, Lightroom CC yet, or even maybe ever. So, um, so like I said, more customizable options on import, which I really like and leverage. And uh, it also has a book module. So you can create photo books. So you can create and lay out photo books right inside a Lightroom Classic. Uh, it's really powerful, really simple, and it lets you create books of different sizes. This is an eight by 10 book with a, uh, a paper cover. Um, and I laid this out again in Lightroom. Here's a seven by seven, also paper cover, also laid out in Lightroom. You can even write, where's a text page? You can even write text in it. Sure you can, yeah, there you go. Sorry, <laughs> the first page. <laughs> First page, you can even include text. You can go to a 10 by 13, 11 by 13 book this big, hardcover. All these cover options are available at the different sizes. So this is a book of my photos from my trip to London in 2018 with Debbie. Yeah, so that's not available in Lightroom CC. All right, so let's talk about Lightroom CC. Uh, it's icons a little different. It's just the LR. So visually, you'll know which one you're working on. Plus, it looks different. I'll show you that in a second. So it's LR. Uh, it's the new one. It's been around for about three-ish years, released in 2017. Uh, its focus is more uh, multi-device. So it's primary. It stores photos locally, but it also stores by default all your photos in the in on a web server in the cloud. Okay. The Creative Cloud, that's what the CC stands for. Um, uh, I think it's a simpler layout. Um, I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, you know, it is multi-device, uh, as I mentioned. So it it runs on your, the layout is similar. It runs on your tablets, it runs on my phone, uh, and the interface is gonna be uh, similar between both. Um, these mobile versions of Lightroom, originally called Lightroom Mobile, came out first, and it worked with Lightroom Classic 
there was a workaround how to get it to work, but now it just works with seamlessly with LRCC and Classic. <laughs> so because I use Classic on my desktop. Sorry, I'm confusing things. Uh, and again, you have access to all your photos by default on all your devices, so that's kind of cool. If you're running Lightroom Classic, you can you have there's an extra step to get all the photos to synchronize. So, which one's for you? I don't know. Um, again, I use Classic. Eventually, I think LRCC Lightroom CC will eventually replace Classic. I'm not sure when. I think we're at least still a couple years away from that, just as far as features and, and maybe never, maybe never. I, th I thought when it came out that it was gonna be uh, eventually replaced, but um, I thought it might've happened by now. We'll see. Maybe they'll just keep both of it and keep us confused. Who knows? Who knows? So uh, let's take a look at the interface. Just another difference. Uh, at the top here, you have Lightroom Classic. Uh, and then at the bottom you have Lightroom CC. So you're looking at the same um, on uh, Lightroom Classic calls its group of photos uh, collections. Lightroom CC calls them albums. <laughs> so even though they're the same function. Um, so, so we're gonna walk through it and see which one you like better and uh, then you can make your decision. Um, so here's what we're gonna do next in this video. I wanna walk you through real quick the steps to uh, get the photos. Uh, we're gonna have some sample photos to work on and I wanna walk through you the steps on uh, how to do this um, from um, on your computer. So here we go. So the first step is to head over to our module uh, number four in cla uh, the class number four module in Canvas. And inside of that, you'll see at the top lrc1.zip and that is the folder that contain the file that contains uh, Lightroom stuff. So your first step is to click on that once and then you're gonna next step is going to be to download that uh, by clicking where it says download lrc1.zip. So click it once and it will download to your uh, your device. Now depending on where you have downloads stored, you will need to go find this download next. So mine goes right to my desktop, so that's fine. Also, because I'm on a Mac, it automatically decompresses it. If if you're if you see a LRC1.zip, I suggest right clicking on it and then you're going to want to uh, uncompress, open, unzip, something like that uh, to to get at the files because you can't get at them from the .zip file. All right, uh, again, uh, since this video primarily is for people using Chromebooks uh, in Art 147, 149, and 148, maybe eventually, um, you have another step to do right now uh, because you can't really do this in, in Lightroom CC. So here's our next step. Our next step is to start organizing our photos. And the way I organize photos is I, uh, I ha I'll have basically generally two layers of folders on my computer. I'll have a master folder that holds all my original photos. So let's make that first. Uh, you can store it wherever you want for ease of use right here, right now. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. So I'm gonna do a right click and make a new folder on my desktop. And I'm gonna call this folder Imports, I-M-P-O-R-T-S, because that's the step we're going to do, imports. Um, you can call it your name photos, like I could call it Michael photos, Michael's photos, whatever you want to call it. I, you know, just as long as you remember, these are your original photos, okay? So, uh, and then what I'm going to simply do, still on my desktop, drag that LRC1 inside of my imports, and I'm good to go. All right. That's it. So uh, that concludes the introductory video for part number one of uh, how to use LR Lightroom CC. I can't keep the name straight sometimes. Uh, so part number two, we're gonna show you how to get these photos into Lightroom CC and uh, do some begin to do some edits, the fun part. Here we go. See you there in a minute.